popped out of the shower. Um, I want to wrap up last night's video. Uh, we didn't do a lot of new stuff yesterday. We did more shopping. <laughs> We did grocery shopping for the week and some normal stuff. Again, I think I mentioned my sister works, so we're doing a school week and like just some fun stuff um, during the day and then hanging out at night. We did some more shopping. We went and picked out Christmas PJs for our family so we could take a picture on the couch um, on Christmas. We did grocery shopping, just normal stuff. Got a uh, went to Michael's to get some yarn. My son wants to make a granny square Minecraft um, blanket. So I went and got some yarn and maybe we'll start working on that today. Not sure um, how the day goes. We still have cookies that we can make. I have these two kits of cookies to make throughout the week. Um, we also are going to check out the, it's the Hershey Dairy Historical Society, I think. And we're going to go to their museum and check it out and see if there's anything interesting. But they also have a holiday model train set up. So we want to go check that out. But other than that, it's going to be another low-key day. Getting school done is the first priority. We have already gotten... I did science with my son while my daughter worked on some math. And now he's working on math while she works on a lesson with my husband so I could get ready. I'm going to go work on some science with her. Um or maybe some history, we'll see what we, she wants to do, which one she wants today. Um, yeah, we might play some more board games. We got so, we have so many new ones and we brought so many. Um, we have that genotype game that we wanna play with Eli now that he's covered inheritance. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we get up to the rest of the day. Bye. The magic of Christmas is here The streets are singing with cheer Snowflakes are falling and everyone's calling The magic of Christmas is here The magic of Christmas is near A countdown till presents appear Houses are glowing and love will be flowing With every excitable cheer Lights on the houses and sweets in the stockings Maybe some mistletoe hung above Sit by the fire and sing Christmas carols A chorus of all that you love The magic of Christmas is here The streets are lit up with cheer Bells will be ringing and everyone singing The magic of Christmas is here Sweets in the stockings And your loved ones gathered around So put on your coats And wander the neighborhood Spreading that joyful sound The magic of Christmas is here 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 What a wonderful time of each season goes faster, so savor the laughter The magic of Christmas is here The magic of Christmas is here Have a magical Christmas this next day and I was working on uploading my video and realized one of my clips did not um, save for some reason. So I just want to round up the day yesterday and how it went. Um, I wasn't the best parent yesterday. I'm going to be completely real and honest with you guys. I wasn't patient. I wasn't 
un as understanding as normal. My kids are sitting next to me. They can probably vouch for that. We all had a struggle yesterday. Um, we had a good morning. We got a lot of school done. Everybody touched on all the subjects, so that was good. And we didn't go anywhere yesterday. Um, we needed a day of school. We needed a day of, you know, work. Um, we are behind where I have had us targeted for this point of the year because I started a job behind is just in terms of a 36 school year week. We don't do that. We have year round school. Um, and a lot of the stuff like history and science, you do one lesson over a day in the summer and then you go play. So it really ends up working out well for us, but, um, but we are, however, behind where I targeted because of this job. So we didn't want to take a whole week off school. So we brought school with us. Um, we have so much stuff. It is horrible. <laughs> um, but we all had a struggle. I had a panic at work uh, with some work stuff where I almost had a panic attack. Um, and I was dealing with that and everybody was not listening at the same time and mom lost her temper. So we ended that conversation or we timed out until mom was done with what she needed to deal with and then went back and talked about this. And, um, I, you know, started the conversation off. Try, I try, if I think about it, to start these conversations off with what mom did wrong. So that when we get to the point where we're talking about what you did wrong, you already know all the mistakes I made and that I am regretful of those and apologetic. And so it's easier for you to hear criticism about yourself after I have talked about my flaws and what I could do better next time. And I like to have an action plan like, okay, this is what I did wrong. This is what I'm going to work on. Then when I say, can you work on this? It doesn't feel accusatory because it's not. We're all learning and working. Being kind to myself when I'm not the parent I want to be is really important. Um, and again, we ended the, the argument and conversation with snuggles and understanding with each other and then went on our day. So the important thing is, is that is the resolution, right? Um, I did final grading and my husband and I both finished all of our online trainings for work. We had been putting them off <laughs> during the semester and now we did them. I had four or five. I think I wrote three on the clip, but I'm pretty sure because there were two in one app and three in another. So five, Ugh, it was a lot. I sped it up to two times the speed, which is what I do with books, audiobooks. So that helped. Ugh, I'm rambling today, but this was a short clip, so it's okay. Uh, let's talk about projects. I have really been knitting a lot. I am working on my ash bark blanket still. I told you guys that I used DK, so it's larger than it would have been because it called for fingering, and I was cool with that. It's a blanket. It's huge. It covers all my legs, and I love it. It's going to be fabulous, but um, I am at the point where, so you repeat the body pattern nine times and then repeat rows one through 20 once, and I have repeated seven times and I'm doing the one through 20 and border because it's pretty big and I think that's going to be sufficient. So I should be binding this off. I would guess I could be binding this off tonight, depending on how much school we get done. And, uh, so we'll see. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully this will be done. And then I have been working. Thank you, sweet girl. I have been working, um, on my hat let's see how far I've gotten on that every I did I worked on this when I looked at Christmas lights and when I was reading history lessons this blanket was fine to work on during the trainings and like my personal work but when I'm reading a lesson to Stella I needed something that was just a, a thing so I've got this I love it let's see how it looks so it's going to be, I'm making a folded brim. So I need to keep going until I have enough to fold a brim. But it's just a base layer hat. Um, I never wore hats. And now I'm like digging how I look in them, which is silly. But now that my hair is longer um, and the hair is hanging out, I feel like my chipmunk cheeks um, 
don't, and I'm not body shaming myself. Do not. I have been 120 pounds and still had chipmunk cheeks in my opinion. So it's a face shape thing, not a body shaming thing. Um, but now that my hair is longer, it, I don't think I look as funny in hats as I used to. So I've been wearing a few hats that I made. I think I have two that I wear pretty regularly. So I think I need to make more hats. But yeah, so that's going well and we'll see. It's a really good one to work on. I'll probably finish that up really quickly after this blanket's done. And then I have to pick up the piano blanket or piano scarf and that's my other vacation knitting that I want to get done. Anyway, today was a day. It wasn't very interesting to watch. Oh, I did start a craft with my sister. We're making garland with felt. Let me show you real quick. Um, I have two. I have one finished ornament and they are going to hang on a string. So it's garland and we're hand stitching them. And my second one looks way better. I'm so excited. Um, we're gonna be working on this throughout the week in the evenings when I'm hanging out with her and probably over the weekend. So we'll see how many of them we get done. They actually don't take too long. I would say like 15 minutes. Um, and I would say that a lot of that is contributed to the fact that we don't know what we're, haven't figured out the flow yet. I think they'll go fast. Like my second one is already going faster. So that's good. Um, yeah. And I might, we'll see. Have a good day.